Here we have the Digital TrueFlow Grid. When used in combination with the Digital TrueFlow app that can be found at the Google Play or Apple Store, we're going to obtain the CFM measurement of this air handler. Okay, let's take a look at the app. When you open the app, you'll get to the home screen, you'll see four workflow selections. You'll need to select one of these workflows to continue with the Digital TrueFlow Grid. If you'd like more detail in these workflows, please check out the step-by-step -step tutorial. Now let's go over the parts and pieces. In addition to the TrueFlow app and the Bluetooth capable device, we're going to need to select a manometer. You can either go with the DG8 or the DG1000. You'll need a static pressure probe, a hose. You'll also need the TrueFlow grid and at least one adapter plate for it to snap into. Let's get into a demonstration. I'm going to select System Airflow and Static Pressure. You'll notice my app says select a pressure gauge and a true flow plate. Let's go ahead and power up our devices. Okay, with our devices powered up, you'll see them on the screen. Let's go ahead and hit the plus. That'll connect our devices, Bluetooth to our device. Okay, our app prompts us to the next step. We have an air handler, we have an upflow, cooling capacity is a two ton unit, air filter location is in the filter grill, cooling climate is 350 CFM per ton. Click next. Okay, system details. Let's read over these, make sure we don't have to get anything prepared to move forward with the test. Once we've done that, we can turn the system on, jump right into it. Okay, system's on. Click continue. You notice it says install the DG8 pressure hose right before the A coil in the return. So, take our static pressure probe. We've got it in the return. Take measurement. Give it a few seconds. Okay, we've captured our return static pressure. Now, you'll notice the screen is telling us, go ahead and capture the supply static pressure measurement. Take that static pressure probe, put it in the supply plenum. We click take measurement. Wait a few seconds. Okay. I'm happy with those measurements. Let's click continue. Okay. This is when the app is telling us to take the filter, remove it from the system, and install the digital TrueFlow grid. With the grid installed, we can now click take measurement. Give it a few seconds. Okay, now I'll turn the system off. We have measured 791 CFM. That is the measurement of air moving through the system when the filter was in place. So now you've seen a run through. Let's discuss pros and cons of this method. Here's the pros. It's the best option as far as accuracy for measuring air handler flow. It has a consistent approach and is straightforward for all situations. It can be combined with static pressure measurements for cost-effective full system analysis. It's also recognized by ANSI, ACA, and ResNet for grading new installations. Here's some cons. The equipment can be expensive, but the newest version, the digital TrueFlow, is much more cost-effective. One must choose the selection of filter size adapters they will need. You will need a Bluetooth capable device on site. Visit our website where we have the digital TrueFlow grid in various combinations available for purchase. Mm -hmm.